How was your day? Good evening, Alex. I'm fine. I am not complaining. And you? I'm fine too. I'm not complaining either. Why are you on edge tonight? What is going on? And these flowers? This woman annoys me. How many years have I been courting her? She still refuses. No woman resists my advances. I use all my tricks but she doesn't want to. She won't get away with this. She will fall into my net. I will have her in my trap. For big problems, big resources are needed. Martin, leave the woman alone. How many years has it been? You failed. You have to admit you're a failure. Stop bothering and harassing her. You owe me $50,000. You failed at the bet. Fleur is a moral woman. I admire her. You give me my money. Send it to my account tomorrow morning. I'll have her, no matter what. She will be part of the list of my conquests. I assure you, tomorrow, I will find a solution for her. You will hear from me. Tomorrow morning, I will send you the $50,000 to your account. Martin, it's over. You failed. If you court a woman and she says no, it's not a crime. She has the right to refuse or accept. She made me lose $50,000. I'm going to make her see all the colors. Okay, Martin, I think I'm going to leave. I have an appointment at home. What is the group's program this weekend? I will send you the program by SMS. Okay, goodbye, Martin. Goodbye, Alex. Mom, are you ready? I want us to walk together. I'm going to finish my work. Yes, honey, I'm ready. We can leave. Have you ate? Yes, I ate bread with milk. Mom, please give me $40 to buy something when I'm hungry. Yesterday, the madam was so nice to me. She gave me food and coke twice. She told me she is a Christian. I didn't eat before going there. I couldn't do the work if I hadn't eaten. I thank the Holy Spirit who told her to give me food. God is faithful. Even in the small things, the insignificant things according to man's thoughts, I see the powerful and triumphant hand of God. I give him all the glory. My darling, my big guy, it's going to be okay. God is in control. I trust him. I only have him and I know he won't abandon us. Tony my son, thank you for your support and help. May God bless you abundantly. May he raise you. May the Holy Spirit lead you to fulfill your destiny and mark your generation. Amen. Mom, you don't have to thank me. I'm doing my duty as a big brother. I know how you struggle and deprive yourself of many things for us. Mom, it's not at all easy to take care of three children. You are at the same time the dad and the mom to us. May the Lord bless you and strengthen you, Mom. Amen, my son. I love you too. Can we go, my son? Okay, Mom. What can I do to get Fleur to agree to go out with me? I did everything, but she doesn't want to. I gave her large sums of money, bought her gifts, but she refused everything. Despite her situation, she does not give up. This woman is treated like a mule. Terrific, I thought. If I make the decision to kick her out, she will accept because she has no income apart from this job. She will give herself easily. She won't be able to resist any longer. Fantastic. She thinks she's stronger than me. Now we'll see who is the strongest and smartest. She's going to lower herself in front of me. I'll use her however I want and throw her away. I have my wife. What am I going to do with her? She will be just an object of fun and play for a while. I found the solution. Everything is acquired for me. Tony my son, I am proud of you. I am very happy to have you as my children. Mom. We are also very happy to have you as a mom and we love you very much. Mom, I see all the pain you endure for us every day that dawns. It's been 15 years since dad abandoned us. If I see him today, I wouldn't be able to recognize him because I was 4 or 5 years old when he left. Lauren and Maria never knew him because they were still babies. Thank you so much mom for everything you do to make us successful. I give glory to God, our support and our rampart. My son, I lack words to speak. I give glory to God for everything and I abandon myself to Him. Mom, don't worry, it'll be okay. God is in control of everything. Monday too, I don't have class. I'm going to look for work so we can pay for Laurent and Lorianne's collages. 
Don't worry about what we're going to eat tonight. When I finish work, I'll do the shopping so we can eat tonight. I'll make salad. You will come back soon, my sweet darling mother. I love you. Tony my son, I bless the Lord for this extraordinary son that you are to me. Take care of yourself, may the Lord protect you. I love you my son. Take $70 to eat. Yesterday a colleague also gave me $150 for transportation but I walked. See you later my son. Thanks mom. See you later. May the Lord protect us and assist us in everything we do today in Jesus name. Amen. Amen big guy. Hello Fleur, how are you? Have you slept well? Hello Lena, I am fine by the grace of God. I bless the Lord for all his blessings. And you, my dear sister? I give all the praise to God. I am also very well. It's break time. I invite you to eat. I had a lot of work this morning because I'm getting ready to go on leave so I can organize my wedding. Please let me know anything I can do to help you. Thank you very much. God bless you. We can leave. Yes, let's go. Fleur, are you sure you're full? You can still take whatever you want. No, thank you. It's okay, I'm full. I might not work this morning. Thank you very much for the invitation. God bless you. It's nothing my sister, let's give glory to God. As I told you, starting next week, I will be off work so I can prepare for my wedding. So if there is something, we'll call each other. You know Lena, Mark and I were engaged. We were waiting to have a good situation to get married. Along the way, we had sex once and I got pregnant. My parents having found out, called him to talk with him. After several discussions, they decided that I should go live with him so that he could come and do whatever was necessary. Being together, living together, led us to have more relationships. Mark had another daughter without me knowing it. He was making marriage and travel plans with this girl. When I gave birth to Laurent and Lorianne, after a few months, he left as if he were going out, and he never came back. He left me with three children without a penny and without paying a deposit for the apartment. It hasn't been easy for me at all, but I give all the glory to God for his love. He gave me the strength and determination to face the situation. Laurent and Lorianne were still babies. Tony was four years old. What could I do to take care of my children and pay for the apartment? The children were babies, who could take care of themselves so that I could work. Lena, God is good. Truly, I give him all the glory. God always prepares solutions for us before the problem begins. We must put all our trust in him. After six months, he called me to tell me that he no longer wanted me, and regarding the children, he was giving them to me as a gift. I only replied thank you very much. Oh sister, I am so sorry for you. You really suffered. Take courage, I'm really sorry for you. I imagine what you went through, and are still going through today. Courage. You are a very brave woman. Flower, you cannot say that because of all these situations, nothing is possible in your life, because what God cannot do does not exist. Men can say that it's over, that there is no longer any possibility, but God has just started with you. It is God who has the final word in all things. Thanks for your support, but let go of all these words. Look at me Lena, look at me carefully. What man can want to marry me with three grown children? He will come and spend his money to take care of my children. He can't love them like his own children. The men are going to leave all these young girls to come and marry me. Me Fleur, a mother of three children, I can't even keep up with myself anymore. I became ugly. I lost my beauty. I don't even have money to say that he will be able to marry me because of my money. My sister, let's forget all that. All that matters to me today is my children. I know that by the grace of God it will be okay. I believe it too for you. Know that God does not do tinkering and mending, but new things. I think we're at the end of the break. We have to go. Yes, you're right. Thanks a lot for the invitation.
Auntie, I came to tell you that I finished the work. I arranged the whole thing in the garage too. Wow, thank you very much Tony. I was planning to do it myself tomorrow Sunday. You helped me a lot. Really, I'm happy. Tomorrow I will take this time to sleep. There is a friend of my husband who saw the work you did yesterday. He wants you to come and set up his store too. It's not far from here. When will you be able to work there? His store is big. I told him he's going to pay you $2,000. He accepted. I don't want you to be cheated. There are some people who are not serious. Thank you very much, Auntie. As you said the store is big, I will go tomorrow and finish on Monday. Okay, I'll call him right away to tell him. Tomorrow you come here so I can take you there. Okay, now I'm going to pay you. I owe you $700. Take this. Thank you very much Tony for your work. God bless you. Thank you very much Auntie for everything. God bless you. Give glory to God. Tony, yesterday when you left, the Holy Spirit told me to give you $2,000 and get you some supplies when you get here today. I'll give you 5 kilograms of rice, a pack of 5 macaroni, oil, cans of sardines and tomatoes, eggs, milk, cocoa. It is not possible. Oh God, oh Lord, thank you so much. Receive all recognition. Thank you auntie. May God reward you a hundredfold. Tony, don't cry. It'll be okay be strong and courageous. God is in control. He did it for me, he will do it for you too. I didn't even have a roof to sleep in, but here I am today. It'll be okay. Thank you very much auntie. I trust in God. I am going to leave. See you tomorrow auntie. Thanks again. Lord, what could I say to you tonight? You are wonderful and extraordinary. Thank you for the money you gave us and the supplies you gave us. Thank you for the work I will do on Sunday and Monday. Lord, the work is very hard, but strengthen me. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to go drop things off at home and go buy the salad and whatever else I need. God, you are so good. My son, I didn't know you were such a great cook. I am very proud of you. You really pampered me these two days. Mom, you taught me how to cook. If I am a very good cook, it is because you are a very great cook. I say thank you to God for this education that you gave me. I'll help my wife later too. She will be pampered and blessed to have a husband like you. I am very proud of you. Thanks mom. Mom, today I finished the work, but tomorrow and Monday I will go and do another job for $2,000. God is faithful. My son, are you not tired? Your body doesn't hurt. Tuesday you are going to go to school. You need to rest. Mom, I'm tired but I'm going to do it. I do not work on my own, it is the Holy Spirit who is at work. Before sleeping, I will take some products. Mom, God did a great miracle for us today. God is powerful. Oh well, what happened? Today the aunt told me that the Holy Spirit told her yesterday to give me $2,000 and get me some supplies when I get there today. She gave me $2,000 after paying me what she owed me. She gave me all these things you see. She is the one who gave me all these things from the Holy Spirit. What? It is not possible. Thank you Eternal God our Father. You are worthy of glory and honor. You are loyal. Thank you for your loyalty. Mom, take the money. It's $2,400. I took $100 to go to the market tonight. I'll keep $200. Monday Lauren and Lorianne will go to school. Truly God is good. Yes my son, they will be so happy. I really give all the thanks to God. I lack words to say thank you to God. Thanks to you too Tony. You are a very brave child. Mom, I'm going to go get some fresh air with Lauren and Lorianne. Okay my son, but come back soon please. May the Holy Spirit lead you. Hello, Director. Hello, Fleur, my darling. Mr. Director, 
I am not your darling, and I will never be it. The secretary told me you wanted to see me. Fleur, I'm tired of you. Do you agree to give me your body or I will fire you? If you say no, then you will sign the documents that I put on the table and you get out. Sir, I will not give you my body. I won't sign any documents, but I will leave. Nonsense, get out of my office. May I never see you again in this company. Get out of my sight. Hello, Mrs. Hello, Madam. How are you? I am doing very well by the grace of God. My secretary told me that you came for the announcement we made regarding the domestic worker we are looking for. Yes, Madam. Indeed, it is for the announcement that I came. Are you sure you can do it? Are you sure you will make me proud of you for the work you are going to do? Yes, Madam. I will do it and very well. Don't worry, Madam. What is your name? Also tell me your marital status. Please, Madam. My name is Fleur. I am single with three children. Okay, Madam. I will hire you. You are going to take care of our dad, the businessman Monsieur Elise. You will take care of his clothes, the maintenance of the house and others. He is currently traveling and will return in two days. You will start work tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. We will pay you $4,000. If after three months you have good results, you will get a raise of $1,000. We are Christians and I see that you are also a true Christian. It's been 25 years since our mother left to be with the Lord. So in all this time, our dad hasn't remarried because of us. He said he doesn't want a woman to come and mistreat us. Our dad is very important to us. There are only two of us, my big brother and me. I hope you will take good care of our dad and the house too. You come in the morning at 6 a.m. and you leave at 8 p.m. when he is there. When he's on a trip, you just come and do the right thing and leave. He will give you his program each time. Do you have a phone? Please ma'am, my phone is at the repair shop. Okay, it is not serious. We're going to go out and do some shopping right away. We're going to take the opportunity to buy one. Thanks a lot, madam. It's nothing, Fleur. Let us give glory to God. We need to make preparations for Dad's return. I am with my husband and my brother also lives with his family. Give me your ID card and all the papers we asked for. We'll do the paperwork and we'll go out. Thanks a lot, madam. God bless you. Here are my papers. Okay, thank you, Fleur. We're going to do the formalities and we're going to go out. You will have a driver at your disposal to go to the market and other things. The driver will take you home if sometimes it gets late. Okay, ma'am, I understand. Thank you so much. Call me Jeanette. Stop calling me madam. You are now part of the family. We are all simple and unpretentious. Okay, I understand. Come read and sign the papers I drew so we can leave. Okay, I understand. It smells very good around here. What is this perfume? The house is very clean and everything is shiny. Welcome, sir. Thank you, madam. My name is Elisha. I am the prophet of the Bible. And you? Please, sir. My name is Fleur. Your new domestic worker. Oh, welcome, Fleur. My daughter told me about you. I am your new employer. I hope we will get along well because where there is the Holy Spirit, there is joy and peace. Yes, sir. I will do everything I can by the grace of God. Well, I'm going to go wash and come eat. See you later. See you later, sir. Hello, Dad. How are you? Hello, big guy. I am fine by the grace of God. Junior? I hope you didn't come here early this morning to talk to me about marriage again. Dad, you refused to get married for us. Now that we're adults, you're not going to stay like that anymore. You need to think about marriage. Look how you changed a few weeks because there is a good-hearted woman who takes care of you. Dad, I beg you, please get married. I understood, my son. I'm getting married. I promise you. Since Fleur returned to this house, I have felt the need and the importance of remarrying. Fleur, works very well. 
I give glory to God for his life. Pray for me, your sister and you. May God give me the woman of his heart. I am very happy this morning. Thank you, Dad, for agreeing to get married. We will pray for you. It'll be okay, Dad. I'm going to leave. I have a meeting this morning at 10 o'clock. Goodbye, Dad. What is Fleur preparing for you this evening? Do you want me to invite you? Spinach sauce with shrimps, crabs, smoked fish, lamb and guinea fowl. We call it the five piece sauce accompanied by a little corn dough. She cook very well. It's perfect. Dad, I'm very happy to see you happy. You exude something I've never seen in you. I say thank you to God. Mamis, my darling sister, I bring you good news this morning. Guess what it is? Tell me, Junior. Dad's agreed to remarry. Great. Thank you, Lord. May the glory return to you. You saw how Floor takes care of him. This woman is wonderful. I love her so much. If she could be our mother, that would be very good. She has a very good heart. Let us pray, sister. That will of the Lord be accomplished. Well, I'm leaving you. Many wishes to my brother-in-law. I will not miss it. Say hi to your love. Understood. Hello, my dear Elise. How are you? Hello, my beloved Jeremy. I'm doing well. I give all the praise to God. And you, my brother? I'm fine, too. I give all the glory to God. I just stopped by to say hello. Hey, Luzé, over the past few months, I have noticed a very big change in your life. You are more and more radiant. You are happy and fulfilled. This makes me very happy. Have you found a woman and you didn't tell me anything? We don't hide anything from each other. Now you've gotten a taste for coming home, but before that wasn't the case. Who is this woman through whom the Lord does this beautiful work? May all the glory go to him. Jeremy, you too. I haven't found a wife. I can't hide anything to you. Since Fleur came home, everything has changed in the house and in my life. And what are you waiting for to ask her to marry you? You two marry me. Do we get married like that? God didn't say anything. I will pray for you. I love you Elisha and I want to see you. Thank you, my brother. I love you too. Lord, I don't know what's going on in my life. When Fleur isn't there, I felt empty. But since she's there, I feel complete. Lord, don't let me make mistakes. It's not because she takes care of me, that she is the woman that you chose me. Protect me, 